guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be working on my friend Cameron's Miata. So we're gonna do a bumper cut today on my car. Uh, the main reasons that people do it is because it reduces drag and uh, it looks nice. So that's what we're gonna do. So first thing we gotta do is get the car jacked up. So we're gonna work on that now. So, now that we've got the car up in the air, uh, we're gonna talk about where we're gonna do our cut. We're gonna do it about this level. Reason for that being that the actual metal support is right behind this, and this is about the bottom of it. So we can't really go much higher than that without exposing that. We're gonna mark out our edges with some tape. So uh, we're, we have set points, obviously, on either edge of the trunk is gonna be one of our points. We're gonna use the uh, Mazda Evlum as our center. So we're gonna follow this line across, and a lot of people end here on this edge for the exhaust outlet. However, we're gonna go a little bit farther actually, and we're gonna follow uh, this mud flap. So just uh, to help us figure out where that line is, we're gonna take our cardboard here and follow straight up. So you can see right beside this uh, former mounting point is where we're gonna go uh, for the very edge of our bumper cut. checks to see if things are level. That's right. All right, so what I just did is uh, we've got our main points. We've got two points by the mud flaps. We've got two lines where the trunk meets and we got the center line. So what we did is we took a point next to each of the sides and made sure that it was the same distance just by taking a piece of tape um, and then measuring by marking with a pen. Uh, we took it off, put it on that side, made sure it was the, the same on both sides, and then all I have to do is take the edge right here and slope it down so it meets the edge of the tape line where the mud flap is. So we did that to both sides, and now if you take a step back, it should look really symmetrical. plastic. Beards are great at holding plastic pieces that you've just cut off your car. So Cameron just finished cutting the first half of his bumper cut, been using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. It's working very nicely as you can see the cut is really, uh, it's really, really clean. Yeah, the Dremel actually moves through at a really great pace. It's not too fast so you can make sure to take your time and stay level. You can see this is pretty clean. Um, the only thing to really look out for is that there are these two little brackets holding the bumper on. One of them is screwed into the bash bar, and you want to leave the upper portion of that because it's holding your bumper on. The other one you can trim wherever you can access it. Cool. All right. So I'm going to cut the second half. Are you Cameron? I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, man. That's what a bumper cut is.
All right, guys, well, Cameron and I totally forgot to film an outro for this video, so I wanted to take the time to do that now. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I really enjoyed filming this video because I got to focus more on filming and, uh, you know, trying to make it higher quality as opposed to what I'm used to doing, which is putting the camera up on a tripod and time-lapsing all the work, which is super boring and super annoying uh, for me and I think for you guys. So I want to kind of make my videos a little bit higher quality and continue to do that. So the way I'm going to do that is by uploading more times throughout the week two to three times a week I'll show you guys a little bit more real time of what I'm doing with the car to make it happen and make the wide body kit work as well as fill you guys in on other projects that I'm working on throughout the week because quite honestly the wide body kit isn't the only thing that I'm doing to help me keep my sanity I have some other projects on the side um, that are interesting and I think you guys will be interested in so I want to share that with you guys if you guys want to check out more content if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to my channel that way you guys know when the next video comes out if you guys want to see even more content beyond that you guys can check out my Instagram it's going to be linked in the description box down below as well as I'm going to put a link to my friend Cameron's Instagram in the description box as well that way you guys can check out all the pictures he posts of his Miatas especially the one that uh, we worked on in this video but anyways I'm going to end it here like I said I hope you enjoy the video and I will catch you guys in the next one have an awesome day